there may be no returning the AI genie to the bottle. This morning, a warning from Elon Musk. AI poses a dramatic risk to society. A pause on artificial intelligence. You should probably not be working on making AI sentient. Researchers and others are now asking for a pause in the development of artificial intelligence to consider the risks. We have a perfect storm of corporate irresponsibility. We need to slow it down with the robot. I want to know, can AI do my job? The age of artificial intelligence is here whether you like it or not, and it's happening fast. Lately, there's been a ton of excitement about a new AI platform called ChatGPT, but we're completely ignoring the dangers behind unregulated artificial intelligence development. And as I sit here right now, there's a petition going around that's been signed by over a thousand people, including the co-founder of Apple and even Elon Musk, to completely halt the further development of artificial intelligence. According to them, it's become an out of control race and these companies are developing AI systems that they don't fully understand and that they can't control once they've been released to the public. I think we need to regulate AI safety frankly, because it is, I think, actually a bigger risk to society than cars or planes or, or robots. But it wasn't too long ago that he actually co-founded OpenAI, the company that developed ChatGPT. He started it to promote the responsible development of artificial intelligence, but he left OpenAI over disagreements about the company's future. According to Elon, the open and unregulated development of advanced supercomputers and artificial intelligence is more dangerous than a nuclear bomb. And if you think about it, while cars, planes, and medicine are all subject to massive regulations and testing because they have the potential to kill people if they're not made responsibly, AI can be developed and released with absolutely zero oversight or regulatory standard. And since Elon left, OpenAI went from a non-profit, open source company to what they call a capped for-profit company whose entire purpose is to put money in the pockets of its investors. Then Microsoft came in and dumped over $10 billion into OpenAI and integrated it into its Bing search engine. And I wanna know your guys' opinions down in the comments after I'm done telling you what I think about the future of AI and how it impacts CNC machining. Systems like ChatGPT are trained on a massive data set of spoken and written language. It pulls data from the internet and even licensed third-party suppliers. So essentially this entire system can be manipulated to put out whatever information its providers want it to say. The bottom line is AI is advancing at a very rapid rate, far more rapid than anything that could potentially regulate it. And the fact that nobody is making sure it's being done responsibly is a scary thought to say the least. But the real question for us is, how is this gonna impact the machining industry? Like many of you machinists out there, when I heard ChatGPT can write working computer code, it made me stop and think, wait, can this write G code for a CNC machine? And the answer is kind of. ChatGPT is trained on G code on some level because it's pulling information from the internet and applying that to answer your questions. But it almost always leaves even the simplest things out of its program. If you ask it to drill a hole, it'll write the code, but it'll forget things like turning on the spindle, for example. But ChatGPT isn't even created for that purpose. Make no mistake, there's a ton of CAM softwares out there that have already been working on AI-generated tool paths for CNC machining. There's machines with sensors all over them that use AI to help account for thermal compensation. There's robotics and automation everywhere you look. We're seeing machine shops that are running 40 machines with five people. So this stuff is here and it's happening right now as we speak. And the impact that artificial intelligence is having on CNC machining is growing at such a rapid rate, it's hard to keep up with. But we need to stop and think. If AI is being trained on a data set, that means that someone has to be feeding it that data. We're constantly pushing the limits of what's possible, running our machines two or even three times past what the manufacturer's recommendations are, doing things like taking massive 90% radial cuts in steel or feeding it 1,650 inches a minute. So in order for AI to make sense, it needs to produce the absolute fastest and most efficient strategies possible, and it's not gonna be able to accomplish that if we're just pulling data sets from random people. We talk about it all the time, and when it comes to fixturing, it's about how creative you can be and how much ingenuity you can put into that fixture to figure out the best way to hold the most parts possible. In order for an AI to make sense, it can't just simply produce a fixture. It has to do it better than a human can. 
When I look at some of the parts I've made, they were literally generated using algorithmic engineering and artificial intelligence. What I mean by that is there's absolutely no CAD drawing involved in making these designs whatsoever. You feed the algorithm basic information about the design that you want, the size, the volume, how many ports you want on your injector head, and then it will literally create a design for you that's optimized, that can be adjusted on the fly. This stuff is real, and it's impacting machining all around us, but it's taking things to the next level. It's pushing civilization further. We can't be afraid of it. We have to harness it and use it to our benefit. But even though AI is advancing at an extremely rapid rate, I don't think CNC machinists are as close to being completely replaced as it might seem. Think of it like this, when CNC machines started to be developed and used, a lot of manual machinists were worried that they would be replaced, and they were right. CNC machining absolutely replaced manual machining. Of course, there's still some manual machining jobs out there, and it's still used by some industry, but on a large scale, CNC machining absolutely took over, and for good reason. It actually pushed us to a higher level. It made it to where we could produce way more complex parts at a way faster rate, be more productive and more competitive. It was great for society, but it didn't actually replace the machinist. It just made it to where they needed a slightly different skill set to be successful. The use of AI and machining will be no different. We're gonna be given a choice to either adapt our skill set and use new technology to become more competitive and capable, or we'll be left behind by those who are willing to take that step. And that's how it should be. This is survival of the fittest. If you wanna compete, if you wanna win on a large level, you need to use the advanced technology that's gonna make your life easier. What I mean by that is if AI will inevitably impact CNC machining in a large way, then you need to get ahead of it. You need to make sure that you understand it as a business owner or as an employee. Okay, how can I use this new technology to become better, to become more efficient or more effective? That's how you lead the way, and that's how we, as a community, push things to a higher level. And the bottom line is, if anyone wants to develop an AI that's actually capable of taking a CNC machinist job, then they're gonna need people who are very good at CNC machining to teach that AI how to do that. So don't worry about being replaced. AI is coming, it's already here in a lot of ways, and it's only gonna continue to get better and more effective. Learn as much as you possibly can, about as much as you possibly can, and become so useful that it's impossible for an artificial intelligence to replace you. That's how you're gonna provide for your family. That's how you're gonna give yourself a good life and set yourself up for the future. And that's how you're gonna win on a large scale. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you wanna see more content, check out one of our playlists. If you wanna learn more about CNC machining, go over to Titans of CNC Academy. We've got awesome tutorials that are completely free. Learn how to design parts, learn how to program parts, and jumpstart your career. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button on your way out, and we'll catch you next time.